Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be speaking about open source SIM solutions. So if you guys aren't familiar with a SIM, watch until the end and you should know what a SIM solution is and a couple open source ones that you can use today. So let's get into the video and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. So the first thing is we'll go over what a SIM solution is, also known as SIM or SIEM, however you wanna pronounce it. I think they even say that here in the Microsoft site. So what it is, it stands for Security Information and Event Management. This is also another solution for detecting, analyzing, responding to security threats, right? before harm happens to a business but you know we know we can't keep our eyes on every single alert if we don't have any kind of solution in place so that's why these come into come handy right come into play so right here sim pronounced sim also known as seam it all depends on where you're from i guess on how you pronounce it so sim technology collects logs right and all different sources, right? If you have firewalls, if you have servers, you have switches, routers, endpoints, all this good stuff, you can centralize all that data into one solution and you have it over one pane of glass, right? So how does a SIM tool, how do SIM tools work, right? So it just collects, ag aggregates, and analyzes the volume of data from an organization's applications, devices, servers, users in real time. So security teams can detect and block attacks, right? Say for example, we're running some kind of attack or an adversary is in your network. We can make sure that's all taken care of, right? We can put rules in place, us as the blue team, us as the security engineers, we can put stuff in place. So we make sure it's all taken care of, right? So some capabilities and use cases, right? So we have log management, a SIM system gathers vast amount of data all in one place, right? It organizes it and then determines if it should, you know, if it's a sign of a threat, an attack or a breach, and then it'll give us an alert and all that good stuff. The second one here, it, the event correlation, right? So the, the data that is sorted uh, to identify relationships and patterns to quickly detect and respond to potential threats, right? And then the third one here, we have incident monitoring and response. SIM Technologies monitors security incidents across an organization's network to provide alerts and audits of all activity related to an incident. That is super critical, especially for the blue team, especially for organizations today with all the attacks happening. Okay, so what is the benefit of having or using a SIM solution? A centralized view of potential threats. Everything is centralized. Everything is one pane of glass, right? Real-time threat identification and response, right? Or indi <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have advanced threat technologies and intelligence, right? We can utilize that. Then, you know, compliance auditing and reporting, we can use that as well. And then, sorry, and then greater transparency, monitoring users, applications and devices. All right, so how to implement a SIM solution? This is where you get, you know, consultants or someone that on your team that knows about this technology, but we can see here organizations of all sizes use SIM solutions to migrate or mitigate cybersecurity risks and meet regulatory compliant standards. The best practices for implementing a SIM solution or a SIM system include define the requirements of the SIM deployment, right? If it's, we'll get into some of the open source ones that I have, uh, do a test run, do a proof of concept or a POC, gather gather the data, have an incident response plan, keep improving your SIM, you know, create rules, create uh, monitoring techniques to harden and improve your SIM solution. All right, so there's so much more, but that's pretty much it, what a SIM solution is. Obviously, I wanna go off with Microsoft Sentinel. This is not open source, but you can try it for free right here. And 
I like Microsoft Sentinel because it integrates with Defender, XDR, OPSEC, XDR and SIM and NDR and all that good stuff. It, it's a really good product. I like it. So let's go on to what is some of the options for free or open source, right? Let me make this bigger. We have OSSIM from AT&T Business. We can utilize this and I actually have a video series of setting this up for free on my YouTube channel so you can check that out. So you can download that right here, the ISO, and then you can follow my, my videos of me setting this up and giving it a jingle. Let me know what you guys think, right? The next one here is Waza. So Waza, I really like Waza so far. I'm testing this out in my blue team, red team lab and it's a open source security platform, right? So it has unified XDR, SIM, protection for endpoints and cloud workloads, right? You can install it, you can check it out. Obviously this is not a setup video, this is just some recommendations you can utilize in order to get your lab set up, right? So you got security, uh, endpoint security, threat intelligence, security operations, cloud security, and so on and so forth. So it looks like this, this looks like the the dashboard so once you get it set up it should look something like that the next one here and these are all solutions i used and i've tried out so i'm not going off you know the bandwagon that i don't know something i'm going about i'm, I'm going on everything i tested and tried out so we have manage engine log 360. this is also a sim solution you can try it for free I think you can utilize up to a certain amount for free, but you can give that a try. You can download it. You can look at the, the, the solutions. This is the SIM solution, right? So you can look at that. And the next one is Perlude. So this is something I was testing. It was a pain in the butt. I didn't really like it, but it is another solution out there. And you can go ahead and download it right here. You can download it. It, I, I ran it on Ubuntu the one, when I set this up and you go to sim apps here and you can go to their GitHub and you can check all their stuff out here, Docker, and you can see the .sh and you can run this and all that good stuff. Okay. We're almost done here. So the next one here is Security Onion. I actually like this application. It's really cool, really easy to set up. You can download it and you have a Azure Cloud, Amazon Cloud, Google Cloud, and you just go to download and you can download this right from GitHub and you can walk through this. You can download the image and all that good stuff and follow, follow the steps, okay? And you can actually go to for certification, security onion certified professional if you really wanna get jiggy with it. And then there's some training if you wanna go get hands-on and you can go check that out. And the last but not least, Cercada. So Cercada is an actual, it's a pretty good uh, pretty good application. I use this for an IDS. So, you, you know, it does a lot more than IDS and IPS and all that stuff, PCAT recording, file extraction, but you can check this out. You can include this with your lab and just give it a go, right? There's so many open source and there's so many other sims like Logarithm, Splunk, and all that stuff, but they're a pain in the butt to set up. I'm going, I'm going off of everything I set up that was pretty straightforward, that it's not very difficult to set up. That's, I think, the main takeaway for this video. Use one of these solutions. If there is a solution that's easy to set up, user-friendly for someone that's just getting into the world of cybersecurity or blue teaming, put it in the comments below. I would love to learn and I'm sure others would like to as well. So thank you so much for checking this video out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments or hit me up anywhere that you can reach me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.